What is going on, everyone? Welcome into Big Time Football Talk. So the Lions last night at pick 12 took running back Jameer Gibbs from Alabama. If you remember, Jameer Gibbs started his career at Georgia Tech, a former four-star recruit. Um, Could have went to some bigger schools, chose to go to Georgia Tech, and uh, man, he tore it up there. Transferred to Alabama this past season and uh, had a really nice year for uh, for the Crimson Tide. Just missed uh, one full game, and then he missed the second half of the old Miss game. But, you know, with Jameer Gibbs, you're talking about speed, uh, 4-3-6. Um, it's a guy that's just, you know, just turned 21, uh, 5'9", 199 pounds, a little on the shorter side, but does have a pretty thick uh, muscular build, uh, you know, very lean as well. And, uh, yeah, it, it Gibbs – you got to love the the change of direction ability. I love that he always keeps his feet moving. It's a guy that, with his skill set, his acceleration, burst, um, you know, the the vision and feel for you know where run lanes are going to open and the patience. You got to believe this is just a, a outstanding. It's going to be an outstanding fit behind the Lions' offensive line. And this is a pick that i've kind of I've kind of thought this and I've had and i've I've said this to some people. This is a pick that I think Lions fans are going to grow to love um you know once he gets on the field for the Detroit Lions next year. It's a pick right right now gives us kind of like considered like if you're a casual follower of the NFL draft and you don't dive like real deep into these prospects, Gibbs is kind of a guy that is considered, oh, just like the second running back to the number one Bijan. But if you really dive into his tape, it's pretty, it's a lot closer than you think. And there's a lot of experts out there uh, that actually hold Jameer Gibbs almost in the same tier, or actually not even almost, in the same tier, Greg Cosell. Chris Sims, those are guys that uh, rep- opinions I respect. Rick Spielman, they hold Jameer Gibbs in the same tier um, with B. John Robinson. And but if you talk to some fans, you know B. John Robinson, it seems like the only running back in this draft because you know sports talk radio. You know, for a lot of people, it's a name that they know and it's a name that they associate with mock drafts. You know, for the last few weeks, I've listened to Philadelphia Sports Talk Radio and Atlanta Sports Talk Radio talk about Bijan, 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 you know, as their draft pick. And it worked out really well for the Eagles last night um, getting uh, Jalen Carter. But I guess, you know, the point I'm trying to make is everyone knew, you know, Bijan Robinson. That's always the name fan base because he's the, the, you know, the polarizing guy, a big name, big school. Um, obviously, Jameer Gibbs played at a big school in Alabama, but Alabama didn't really – their players didn't really get um, as much publicity and hype this year uh, because they didn't have – you know, they had a really good season, but not as good a season um, as they've had in years past. Um, and even – yeah, even Bryce Young put up really good numbers, but he was just – you know, oh, oh, they lost two games. So immediately, you kind of immediately hit what the Alabama offense did is kind of devalued as a whole. But yeah, Jameer Gibbs, it sounds like the Lions really like Jameer Gibbs. Brad Holmes is a big fan. It sounds like Dan Campbell was a big fan. Um, yeah, and this is a guy that is going to make the Lions offense uh, better. He's a him and he's a good complement uh, to the skill set David Montgomery brings. Um, I love you. Yeah, I love. Uh, Jameer Gibbs' ability to to work in tight spaces, make himself skinny, you know, dance through the hole. And he does a good job of sometimes there's not a lot there. He does a good job of just falling forward and kind of just taking what's there instead of just trying to bounce everything to the outside. But don't get me wrong, on zone run plays, this guy can bounce it to the outside and pick up good yardage. His stop start ability is actually incredible. It's borderline elite. You know, when this guy wants to turn it on, he can turn it on. And you saw his ability to break, you know, big time runs in the Arkansas game. He had multiple 40, 50 plus, I think they were both 50 plus yards runs in the Arkansas game. And uh, saw that the Tennessee game, even though they lost, that Tennessee was really, he put Tennessee on notice. Tennessee really needed to make sure. Uh, where Jameer, where Jameer Gibbs was at all times, because this was a guy. This is a guy that, you know, he's a broken tackle in the secondary away from turning on the Jets, and you got a and you got a big run, and you're set up in the red zone, or or even further, or you or he takes it to the house. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, that's. Uh, I'm trying to see what what else I want to touch on. Yeah, I watched you know ton of games. He's also a very good pass blocker as well. You know, this is a, he's not a definitely not afraid to you know throw his body around in, in that regard. I mean, 
knows how to pick up the blitzer and is so is so is you know good enough play strength and upper body strength to to square up a blocker or if he needs to just kind of chop and take out the the uh, defensive lineman's legs so I mean, there's really, there's really, there's no weakness to Jameer's game, and he plays tough as heck. This is a guy that, you, you know, despite the injury against Ole Miss, this is a guy that takes some big shots. You know, not being the biggest guy in the world and just pops back up. You know, there was some runs where he took a big shot, and I thought he wasn't going to get back up. Just pops back up. You know, no big deal. So he was surprised he got taken last night, but. Yeah, this is a guy that there was rumors he still could have went late first round. And, uh, yeah, like I, I'll reiterate, I think he's the best, most underrated prospect in this draft, if that makes sense. Because, like, I'm ne- I don't ever remember, like, a really good Alabama running back not getting enough, not getting as much accolade as Jameer Gibbs. Like, like for example... You know, Derrick Henry is a, a Alabama running back that stands out. He, it seemed like Derrick Henry was getting a ton of publicity for the season he had, and rightfully so. He ended up winning the Heisman Trophy. And you know, Jameer Gibbs. You look at his stat line: nine hundred yards. I don't have the receiving total with me, but if you combine the receiving total and the, you know, you think nine hundred yards. Ah, he was shy of a thousand, but you combine what he did in the receiving game, in the passing game, and you're like, this guy was a very productive player, and he really meant a lot. Uh, to this Alabama Crimson Tides offense, and it wasn't just Bryce Young this year um, that was really that was making this offense go and helping them, you know, move the ball down the field. So yeah, that's all I wanted to touch on uh, with Jameer Gibbs. Like the pick, um, it's a pick that I think Lions fans will grow to love. Uh, I think it's a it's a lot of guys that it's a guy that uh, you know a lot of fans just. You know, they didn't see his name attached attached to many mock drafts, and they didn't see there wasn't like any sort of rumors of the Lions being connected with Jameer Gibbs. So a lot of people kind of um, just assumed they weren't going to draft him. I don't think a lot of Lions fans who are you know so NFL guys are more casual. College football fans really took a deep dive into his tape because uh, they didn't think they were going to get him. But I think as Lions fans watch more tape, and when he gets on the field, I think we'll grow grow to really love Jameer Gibbs and uh, I think it's a guy that could have a big impact on the Lions offense and like a touchdown really excel behind this offensive line and they can really try to get the most out of him uh, as far as uh, the skill set he brings thanks for tuning in to big time football talk make sure to stay tuned for more episodes of clips from the show till next time peace